Hello friends, so glad you could join me today. Today we're going to be making a happy little song here on my computer. I'm going to go ahead and run everything across the screen that you're going to need to write a song along with me. Without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start with drums today, as I think is the uh, best thing to do whenever you're writing a song. Or when you're writing a song, uh, you, you, you can start on whatever instrument you want, it, it doesn't matter. But we're going to start on drums, because I want to make something fast and groovy so I don't know what that's gonna be but we'll we're about to find out so this is how I record everything I just uh, I have a launch key 49 MIDI controller thing but I just use my laptops keyboard because it's already on there uh, so yeah let's set the BPM up to Let's get crazy. This is your world. Uh, 155. That's pretty fast. Let's listen to the metronome. Yeah, that's good. I'm just going to turn the old volume down because it's loud in here. Uh, so let's lay a beat down. I'm just going to lay a beat that I'm comfortable with. Here we go. Yeah, I got my, uh, I got my kick and snare down for this drum pattern that I want to make. And because the, uh, because I'm screen recording at the same time, there is some latency when I'm inputting the drum thing. So I'm doing some uh, adjusting. I, gen I generally adjust the drums to be perfect anyway in the piano roll. Uh, so yeah, this is this is nothing nothing out of the ordinary. Let's listen to that. Nope. That is what we want. Uh let me just add some hi hat and loop it and we'll be good to go. Now we got a drum track. Uh, I added some hi-hats and I sort of expanded on it to create the chorus drum part. It's basically the same thing except instead of just doing straight thing on the hi-hat, sorry. It does the disco thing. I'll just show you. So this is the norm, this is the verse. And this is the chorus. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess we're doing a a two door cinema club type thing, which fits in what I was, you know, sort of thinking of. We're doing the uh, uh, fast but groovy, which is basically what they are. But you know, if you're thinking of some other band in this case, you, you go ahead and uh, go for that. It's your world. Make it sound how you want to. Uh, with all that said, let's move on to bass. All right, I got my bass here. And uh, got an idea for a bass part. I will play it for you. So that sounds, uh, cool. <laughs> uh, and you know what? For the chorus, since it's gonna be extra funky, I thought, what the heck? Let's make some big decisions. How much of that sort of disco drag do we want going on? And I figured, let's do as much as we can. Uh, so this is the uh, bass part I thought of for it. 
and this is going to be on the off beat so it's like one so that's going to be pretty sick uh, I'm going to go ahead and record that off camera because I might not get it good the first time around and that would just be boring I think I don't know but I'm doing it. All right. I've got my bass part laid down, as they say. And this is what it sounds like. Just as I showed you. And uh, here's the kicker, here's the chorus. It sounds pretty sick. There we go. Well, I guess guitars are up next. All right, I've come up with some sort of thing. I think this is gonna be the lead guitar. I found this little amp in uh, Logic called Country Gent in the clean guitar section, and I added some distortion to it, and it sounds really interesting. I like that delay on there. So I'm doing a little lead line thing. Uh, That's going to be during the first four bars or whatever, the intro of the song. And then during the verse, just to keep things different, uh, I might switch it up in there, bring it back to the uh, lead line. But for the most part, this lead guitar is just going to be going like this. Just to take full advantage of that delay, it's got to be there for a reason, right? And the guitar during the chorus... It's going to be doing some uh, counterpoint E stuff with the bass, which sounds like this. Or something to that effect. Uh, trust me, it sounds good. I'm going to record that now. All right, lead guitar is down. So let's give that a listen, shall we? I think it sounds pretty cool. Uh, the chorus sounds like this. Yeah. All right. And next up is rhythm. Uh, probably gonna keep it kind of simple, since this lead part is pretty uh, flashy. I would say. So uh, let me write something real quick. So I wrote and recorded the rhythm guitar part. It's basically just some power chords and uh, adjacent things just to make, make it a little more interesting. Um, but, but yeah, it's pretty simple. I already recorded it, so let's listen to that. For the chorus, I just made it ride on a uh, triad, uh, going back and forth between a major triad and a major seventh triad, just to changing when it, you know, when the song told me to, basically. So here's that. Yeah. 
So I think that's probably all the music we're going to need for this. All that's left to do now is write a melody, write some lyrics, and record the vocals. But I'm going to do that tomorrow because it is currently midnight. And I don't think uh, the people in my vicinity would have appreciate that very much. So let's skip to day two. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to write some words and record them. I guess I'll just record what I got so far. <laughs> Where are you? In the meantime, I uh, decided to copy and paste some stuff just to make the song more of a song. And all I did was uh, just mute one of the guitars during the second verse. And uh, yeah, and it made it different so and I changed the drum part just a little bit uh, during the second half of the second verse it's all it's all there is to it basically so I'm gonna write the lyrics now uh, and record them yeah all right I recorded the vocals along with some harmonies I did some more copy and paste nonsense to make a bridge uh, yeah, this was very easy, very fun, and I really like what resulted. Uh, I hope you all do too. Uh, from all of us here, safe travels.